What's up guys? Aaron here with AV Astronomy. Let's do some astrophotography for a change, huh? So today, what I've got going on here, and this sucks, I'm having to use my phone for now, but that's another story. We're gonna be doing a real simple setup with a DSLR and the Star Adventure. And I figured, hey, why not walk you guys through kind of how I prep for this sort of thing, okay? I've got a whole nother video on how to use this Star Adventure for pole alignment and everything. So I'm not gonna go into too much detail about that today. I'll put a link in the description to that video, but we're gonna go over kind of the basics of what I do to prep for an imaging session. So let's do that. First thing I do is calibrate for white balance. And I use this little handy fold up gray card to do that. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna set your DSLR to the automatic white balance mode. The ISO setting you're gonna use, and for this case with Cassiopeia, the target we're imaging tonight, I'm gonna be using ISO 1600. I usually stay around ISO 16 or 3200 anyway, uh, because that just works best for my DSLR. I've got a whole other video that explains why with ISO variants, and I'll put a link in the description for that as well. But anyway, that's what I do first, guys. You gotta get the proper white balance setting. This is something you don't have to worry about with one-shot color cameras, but it is an important thing, I think, to go ahead and take care of before processing your images to maximize your results. So I'm gonna do that. So what you'll do is you'll just simply put on the auto white balance mode on your camera the aperture and the ISO setting you're gonna use, and then take a picture of the gray side of this card. You will then set this image as the white balance uh, standard for your camera. And it's that simple. I'll show you guys how to do that. So what you wanna do is go into the menu, go to custom white balance, hit okay, select the image that you want to use, which is the one we just took and hit set, hit okay, Boom, that image will now be used by your camera to calibrate for white balance. So that part's done, easy peasy. Let's go back inside, get on Stellarium, and frame this up so we know how we need to position the camera for imaging later this evening. All right, so let's jump onto Stellarium here. Type in M103, that'll kind of get us in the ballpark area of where we're trying to image tonight. Let's fast forward to later this evening. There's Cassiopeia. And let's go ahead and put up some labels and markers here. It just makes it easier to kind of navigate through this program. So I'm going to check off on these here. Yep. And those are the ones I usually use. It just helps identify and label things. So it's just easier to navigate through this program. And let's click that overlay button. There's your sensor with me using the Canon 77D and the 50 millimeter. 1.8 lens this is how this will frame up and it's already conveniently in the position that I'll need it in uh, the vertical position so right here you can tell I'm mean, this is pretty much how I want to frame this up I can make some adjustments here in the degrees uh, to change the angle a little bit but this is pretty much it I mean there's not a whole lot of wiggle room here considering the field of view I have with this lens so there we go this is what I'm going for. So with this session, I really want to maximize the HA data the best I can with this DSLR. So I'm going to be using a uh, SkyTech CLS filter as well, which means I also need to shoot a white balance frame for that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now, just like before, only this time I've popped in the filter and I'm going to just take some a couple of shots here, maybe one at 800, one at 1600. and do another white balance calibration for when I'm imaging with the filter. So I'm gonna do that now. 
So we've got our image session planned. We've got our white balance settings set in the camera. All I gotta do now is wait for later this evening and we'll be good to go, ready to start going after this target. All right, so the sun's starting to get low in the sky here. Let's go ahead and start getting this prepped up. So I forgot to mention, you're gonna wanna use an intervalometer. This is important. And if you don't know what this is or how to use it, I'm gonna put a link in the description to a video about that as well. So definitely need one of those for imaging with this kind of setup. I've already got the polar scope aligned pretty much where it needs to be. I just gonna wait till it gets dark and then I'll fine tune it and get it locked in on Polaris. And there's an app that I use called PS Align to do this. And you're gonna wanna download that app so that you can do this as well. But that's gonna be all there is to it. I pretty much got it aimed at where it sh the target should be in the sky. I'll take a couple test shots to fine tune that and make sure where it needs to be. But other than that, this thing's gonna be good to go. So, little confession, this is actually the first time I have imaged in almost four months and it shows. <laughs> um, and just using this Star Adventure with the digital SLR and a 50 millimeter, the Canon plastic fantastic lens, um, I've had some hiccups and stuff. Just It's just so funny, even after I've done this so many times, but it's been so long, it's almost like you gotta get back in the swing of things. But I finally got everything working good. The subframes are looking half, you know, decent. It's hard to say. I mean, it, there's some decent data coming through, but you know, another thing, I'm used to shooting with my one-shot color camera, which has like zero noise, and these frames are just noisy as heck. So hopefully in the end here that, you know, there'll be a good image here to showcase to you guys on, on what you can get with a DSLR. So I'm hoping that the processing part of this will help get me a solid image in the end, but I'll let you guys be the judge of that. Anyway, it's getting late. I'm going to let these subframes finish doing their thing, and then Tomorrow I'm gonna get this processed and stacked up and edited and hopefully we'll have a decent image here to showcase.